Once the structural casing has been installed and wellbore stability has been verified, the conductor hole drilling assembly is lowered and drilling begins. In this case, with a 30 inch structural casing, the conductor casing hole diameter will be 26 inches. Conductor hole depth varies due to formation integrity and is normally drilled approximately 45 feet deeper than the planned setting depth of the conductor casing. Drilling assemblies vary to suit local conditions. But as with operations to set the structural casing, drilling fluid is pumped from the surface through the drill string. The cuttings are routed up the annulus through the structural casing and are dispersed at the sea floor. In the event of shallow drilling hazards such as gas, a small pilot hole may be drilled first. Should shallow gas be detected, well-defined contingency plans are enacted to ensure safety on the drilling vessel. If a small pilot hole has been drilled to casing depth, a hole opening assembly would then be used to increase the size of the well bore to allow for the installation of the conductor pipe. Once the hole is drilled, the conductor casing is run in on drill pipe. Finely ground cement is pumped in and displaced into the annular void to cement the casing in place. The top joint of the conductor casing is actually the high pressure housing, in this case 18 and 3 quarter inches and is positioned on the permanent guide base. The high pressure housing will be used to connect the subsea blowout prevention equipment.